Hello and welcome to another update from James Lawson Smith. As you know, YouTube have been making a lot of updates recently to their video player and to various different functionalities of the site. As some of you may, may know, uh, who embed videos into pages, there was a new video player, or embed option, sorry, that to use an iframe, which would then use the new video player to embed onto your website. Now, before you had to sort of copy and paste this bit of text and change it all manually, and you basically had to be a bit of a, a developer in order to, you know, get it, in, you know, embedded with the new player. But now YouTube have updated their embed options. If you go to embed underneath the description of your video, you now have the option to use an iframe embed code. Now this is still in a beta stage, so there will will be some bugs, as there usually is with a uh, YouTube beta stuff. So basically, you select the text that you want, and then you can use that to embed into any you know external websites. Now the old the old way of doing it, which was just the normal embed option, it, it would embed it via an object and it would load up the old video player, which is this is what the old video player would look like. Now, using the iframe option, it actually loads the new video player with all the uh, sort of funky options and everything you have at the very end of the video. You know, which I covered in my previous video. So here we are, you can hit replay. You can copy the link and you can also embed the object or play the next video, which is the recommended videos. Uh, you've been watching James Lawson Smith. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about YouTube or anything, please shoot me a message, or you can uh, go to my channel and use the Google moderator option. And please comment, rate, and subscribe.